video, I'm going to show you how to use Booking Calendar plugin. So first I have it installed and activated on my site. And then if I go to the settings over here, then I'll just walk you through those quickly. First, you have different types of booking that you allow, and then you can change the duration of the time slot for each of your appointments. Then you can change who the emails are coming from with either the sender name or sender email. You can adjust which template shows on the front end with these options by default. And then you also have these customizing options. And then if you want to uh, remove all settings and all your data when you uninstall the plugin, you have that option as well. Next, you can change the how the currency shows up for your appointments. And then for your payments, you have the, automatically the pay locally option will be enabled. You also have the options for to connect Stripe, and I'll go over that later, and, or PayPal. And then if you get the Book It Pro, then you'll have more options to incorporate with WooCommerce, I believe. So next, the email templates. Um, the email templates allow you to change the copy that goes out with your emails. There's also all these placeholders, and you can adjust which emails go out with this toggle. And then if you want to get an admin notification as well. Next up is the short code generator. So this is how you will get your booking calendar to display on the front end. As you add more categories, you can narrow it down here, and this will build the short code for you based on what you want to show. For now, though, I'll just do the default just bucket short code. This tab shows you how you can import and export data for if you have multiple sites or if you want to do whatever you want with your data. Next, the Google Calendar is also a integrating with Google Calendar is a feature that is available with Book It Pro. So I will go over that later. So first you can set up your services. I got started already, but I'll just show you how to do it. So we can add a tutoring category. And then to add a new service, you just say like one-on-one -on -one tutoring. This is this, and it'll be two hours. I don't know how much tutoring costs. Let's say $200. This is one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Cool, so now that is all set. And then we can add some staff. So I already have some dog walking staff set up here. You can see their different schedules, but I'll just show another one. And then you also have this option when you add a staff to choose from an existing WordPress user, or you can set it up, set up a WordPress account for them right here if you want. And so I'll just show how to do that real quick. And now the services, we're going to have Elmo just be a tutorer. And then you can also adjust which days they work and the time that they clock in and clock out. So I'll just leave it as that for now. And we can also add a lunch break starting. That'd be a weird time to have lunch. Let's say later lunch for Elmo. Oh, that's short. Let's. There you go. Okay, cool. So that is how you add a staff. And then next I'll show you how to get your calendar on the front end. So I just added the book it short code here and then we can just view the front end. Cool, and this is what it looks like for your customers. So they can go in here and say, I need a service on July 17th. I want a tutorer. And then you choose the employee. Actually, I'm going to show a service that has different options. So I want dog walking, but and then I get to choose between which employee I want to book and then what time I'm looking to have my dog walked. And then when I click submit, then this pop-up will come up. And then this is where your guest will enter their information. And then we have this option set up that they will be paying locally when they come. You can also set up to have them pay right here with either Stripe or PayPal. So then if I click book now, 
it should go through. It would help if I filled in all the information. Cool. So now the appointment request was successfully sent. And then you have the options to either print the confirmation or add it to your calendar. And then I'll show you what it looks like on the back end. If we go to our appointment. Boop. Okay, lovely. So this was a test one that I did earlier. On the back end, you can manage the appointments that have been made by seeing the customer's name and their phone number, and then who they booked for which service, the dates, the times, and then you can manage the status to approved, or you can cancel them or reapprove them. And each time you do that, then by default, an email will be going out updating the customer of how you are updating their appointment. And then another option is to edit the appointment and you can go here and change the status of the payment. Let's say this person shows up and then they pay locally, then you can update that there, that they have paid. And then you also have these options to filter the different appointments so that you can filter them by their status. And... Another way, let's say that you get someone on the phone and you want, as an administrator, want to book them for something, then you can go to this calendar option and you have different views that you can use and you can click and then book things through this interface as well. So let's say it's a new customer. <laughs> and then this is creating a WordPress account for that looks like. Okay. Okay, awesome. And then we can see, oops, see that updated on the back end that Obama has booked a tutoring service with Elmo. Okay, I think that covers it. Thanks for watching. Bye.